What's up everyone? It's your boy Inks. Welcome to quarantine season two. Reason why I said season two is because again they closed down the gyms. I was fucking happy that the gyms were back and I was going and then a week before or a week and a half before they actually closed down the gyms. We were we were forced to wear uh you know the face mask and gloves to work out. Which it, it really bugged me because you could hardly breathe in those motherfuckers because when you're when you're working out like high intensity or you're just doing cardio, it really is hard to breathe, you know, because you gotta pull it down to oh, you know, let me just get some fresh air, right? And then you put it back on. But <clears throat> anyways, if you notice behind me, look at that. Bam. I mean obviously I already had the bar, but I managed to uh to buy me some squat stance, not a squat rack, because a squat rack is literally like a little cage, you know, whatever. Not a cage, but there's, there's different like, you know, leg machines for, for free weight, uh, leg, pre, uh, you know, legs, you know, squats. Obviously, obviously, free weight is always the best way to go. That's how I managed to get big, you know, not big, but to get muscle mass, you know, little by little, uh, just free weight. A lot of people nowadays, they focus too much on machines because it's easy. All you do is just get in it and then you go for it. You know, they don't really rely on free weights, which I highly recommend you stick to free weights. And knowing me, uh, my priority, which I've been saying for the longest, for those of you who, are, who have watched my, my other videos, like my before videos, I'm really focusing on my legs like a lot, a lot, a lot because I'm trying to grow them motherfuckers. So, before I was a victim of just using machines, I'm like, yes, my legs got stronger, but they remain small. I mean, yeah, there's little cuts here and there, but I want volume, you know, I want thickness on my legs. So, the best way, which I have seen results lately, is to just, you know, squat with free weight. Squat, like, you know, just get in the barbell and make sure you squat up and down, you know, up and down at the piston. You know, you should check out this man, Tom Platt. He's a, whew, he's a bodybuilder legend, all right? He's known for the quad, so he's the quad father. So, you know, these past few weeks and months, I have been listening to him a lot, you know, on his seminars, on how to squat, you know, his squatting seminars, you know, and all that, like, you know, he teaches you the proper way to squat, which is everything he's saying is pure facts. A lot of a lot of people, like a lot of us youngsters nowadays, we rely on the on the machines, and we don't go to max. You know, we don't really max out to a point that we're done. We just we just stick to the twelve rep range, and that's it. Even though you know you could do more, but I I already got rid of that mentality. Uh, you know, a few months ago, so that's how I managed to look different now because of that you know thanks to tom platts for like opening my eyes you know my my brain everything that i've been absorbing of his information i've been keeping it to myself like not to myself but like i've been just absorbing it you know like learning from this guy everything that he's teaching you know basically works for everything like he says you know whatever you could do in the gym whatever you know you could do in life so i highly recommend you watch his you know, like videos that people have posted of the seminars. Like even though like two hours long, but still it's worth to watch. So I'll I'll leave some of those videos, you know, on the uh, video uh, on the description, so you can check it out. Whenever you're about to work out or you're done working out, check that video out. Listen to him, alright? Like really listen to him. He's gonna open your mind and your eyes, and clearly he knows what he's talking about, right? He's not someone that just, you know, just says things and didn't do he did do what he do what he did and he'll tell you from his mistakes he'll tell you the good and the bad about you know what happened to him you know about his career but other than that like it's, it's amazing so check it out so yeah this is pretty much my setup for now uh i got my parallettes right there my high ones and my low ones you know high p bars low p bars is for those who just don't want to you know say the long word you know but anyways uh my little free weights right there 
my, my uh, squat stands. Now these squat stands, I paid for paid 150 for them, which is pretty much a, a good deal in my opinion. Why? Because they're the heavy duty uh, squat stands. So these squat stands, they're pretty heavy. Okay, they're pretty heavy. They're not light. They're not like light steel or aluminum steel, whatever you want to call it. But the, these are pretty kind of heavy, so which is good. Uh, later on, I will buy the Olympic bar, but in the meantime, this 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 works because you know my room isn't that big, so I could imagine if I put that fucking uh, the Olympic bar, you know, the bar will will you know the edge will be right there, and then the other edge will be by that door now. So it's gonna be a long ass fucking bar. Worth it, obviously, but I mean, currently I don't have the space for it, so this will do. And so far, I'm I'm happy with this. I'm happy with what I got right now. Yes, I'm going to buy a bench, so that I'll be able to bench press, or do incline, shoulder press, and all that. But you know, little by little, I'm building my little gym. You know, little by little, okay? Because you know, this quarantine sucks. So now that you saw the setup, my little new setup, I can't wait to have my bench. So that way, I'll, you know, it's gonna improve of what I got. Just just the little squat stance itself is. Pretty much like it makes a huge difference in my workouts really huge because I could actually uh, lift them up more higher and I'll be able to do pull-ups right or work on my abs by just uh, doing leg raises you know leg raising or then I could just be on the floor and just do sit-ups bombing twists and all that um, but yeah these stands alone literally like literally have made a huge difference of my workout routine because now I could do more you know they just look like two stands and that's it but now you could literally do more than just uh, squats like I say you can lift them up as high as you can um, I'm not that tall I'm five eight five seven and a half around there so I'm just average I'm not too short or too tall but at least uh, I'm gonna have I could just bend my knees so that way they're already off the floor so I could just do pull-ups uh, other than that, pretty much, I'm good with what I have. I don't want to lie, it's pretty good. So, let's kill legs. Let's get it. So, yeah, one more thing before I begin. Uh, the camera's going to be more to the floor pointing up. So, that way, you'll see my full figure. Like, from maybe you might see my head, I don't know. But uh, I'll see because, you know, the camera angle and the way how the camera is. Sometimes it looks too zoomed in. But we'll see. Um, we'll play around with the angle, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, I'm drinking my, my pre-workout. It's already kind of kicking in, so that's a good thing. I'm going to start stretching, warm up with some body weight squats and all that, and then from there, boom, it's squatting time with weights. Let's get it.
boosted up the weight. Uh, I got basically the 425s, which is already uh, 100 pounds, you know, 50 and 50 on that side, so that's 100, and plus I got the 7.5 over, over here, and on the other side, so that's 50. So I'm doing 115 pounds, plus the bar, let's just give it about 125, I should say, 126. So yeah, uh, let's, let's keep getting stronger. No stopping us Fly without boarding pass Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast Call me a shooting star Let them know who you are Flying up and above Wish on a star Time to show them who's in charge Call me a shooting star maxing out on this weight right now which is technically with a bar like 130 ish i don't know like 133 130 something because the my straight bar it's heavy but not that heavy not compared to a damn olympic bar right but i mean it's, it's a little heavy but uh, i'm only gonna do maybe like three sets of these i don't even know how much i'm gonna make maybe like five or six reps i don't know but i'm gonna do three sets of these so that way you know later on i'll be able to keep adding more weight just to get stronger you know so far in the meantime this is my uh, my pr right now so i'm pretty happy with it so let's kill it My goal is to hit more than 10 reps, you know, just max out. I'll probably do like three reps or four. I mean, three sets or four. Uh, other than that, like, uh, I'm just trying to like kill my legs. Reps is key. And what sucks is, whew, I won't be feeling sore for a whole week, which is a good thing because that way you know that you kill legs. But let's get it. My strategy, when I turn up, they never just have to leave. Yeah, 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 shoot, 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 Yeah, 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 shoot, shoot. Yeah, yeah, shoot, and shoot, and shoot. Yeah, yeah, shoot, and shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Five more, five more. Stars. 
Okay, yeah. now five more, five more, make 20. We're gonna help you, we're gonna help you. Five more, you can do it. Well, everyone, that's leg day. Uh, hope you enjoyed. What I didn't record was I worked on my calves. I did front lunges. I did hip thrust, and I just did uh, squat holds on the uh, on the wall. You just you know you lean on the wall and you squat and you just hold it for as long as you can, which that shit hurts. It burns. I did that, and I also worked on my abs. I just did some. Roman twists, some crunches, leg raise, not leg raise, but more like for my obliques, which is just lifting up your, your pelvis and your legs up and down side to side. And yeah, um, it was a, a good leg day for me. I enjoy doing leg day because I, I really push my, my limit for my legs because I used to have that habit, ah, you know, I'm only going to do like six sets with this much reps and then go to this machine for, for a certain amount of, uh, you know, sets and reps and then go to this machine, you know, and after that you just, oh, I'm just gonna walk it out with a treadmill and that's it. And then when you leave the gym, you're like, man, I, I actually have more in me, but oh well, I'll do it some other time. That mentality, you gotta like, you gotta get rid of it, all right? That's just something that I learned within time. So when I work out, I, I completely max out as in like, when it comes to legs, I'm literally like, like barely walking to my car because I killed it. Like right now, I like, like if I try to tie my shoe, oh, I, I feel the, the little pain. But every time when I squat and I'm trying to max out, and there's times I want to give up because, I, you know, I rather really just on my next set I'll go a little bit more harder. Nope. Sometimes I kind of like visualize. Tom Pless like right next to me, like on the side, yelling at me, saying, hey, keep going, five more reps, you got five more. Give me five more, five more, <gasps> you can't do it. So, it's just some type of mental shit, like it really helps, well at least for me, like it helps me out because I love, I love watching and, and hearing this man talk, man, he's so fucking inspirational, and you know, he's, he's, he's sharing wisdom to the youth, which a lot of dudes nowadays, well, you know, people that are young don't really want to follow that advice until it's too late, you know? But I mean, it's, 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 it's human nature, man. We all like to learn the hard way. It's just something that, you know, us as human beings, we have that stupid habit, right? You know, sometimes you start regretting, oh, I should have done this when I was younger, I should have done this when I had time, blah, 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 you know? We all live with regrets. It's just, it's in our nature, man. You know, most people, like do the right thing for a long time and they just keep getting better and better and better but 
the majority of us, we just be like, ah, screw it, you know, party, drinking, smoking, and eating crap, and shorting down your life, you know, you're intoxicating your body. But anyways, uh, hope you all enjoy leg day. For me, I enjoyed it. I killed it. And I hope this inspires you to work out or just, you know, if you want to be a, a YouTuber, uh, you know, do whatever, man. YouTube is just a hobby. It's not supposed to be something what someone's forcing you to do or someone's telling you what to post on your YouTube channel. It's your channel. You get to do whatever hell you want, whether people want to watch or not, all right? You know, I know for a fact I'm going to have, like, two different audiences. So, as in, like, I'm going to have people that only want to watch my fitness videos. And I'm only going to have certain people that only want to watch only my art videos. But then I'm going to have those... People that just want to watch both or anything that I post, so which is cool, man. It works many ways. I can't satisfy everyone. No one cannot satisfy anyone. So, uh, just entertainment. You know, quarantine sucks. I get it. So at least I wanna try to be more here on YouTube and just try to entertain you. Period. But other than that, whew, I'm still winded. Uh, I'm about to make myself a meal, shower. And I still gotta go grocery shopping and buy some food, you know, for my week. But thank you all for watching, and yeah, see you in the next video. I don't know what I'm gonna post, maybe shoulders, chest, arm, I don't know, back, I'll see. But, you know, have a good day. Nothing, nothing's like squats. I mean, it's like, nothing compares to squats. You can do leg presses, but why? Why do an inferior movement? Why do a movement that looks good, but it produces hardly any results? I don't care how much weight you can use. I'd rather do, like you did, three good plates, get in 15, 20 good reps, and reap the benefit. I mean, there's a reason people don't squat. It's hard, it's hard. People don't want what's hard, they want what's easy, what looks showy, forget about it. In fact, forget about the weight, just squat correctly like you just did. That is the secret, absolutely.